Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. Today we have continued our diplomatic marathon and have new real results for our defense, which are very important. I had extensive negotiations with President of France Macron. We discussed many topics. I thank Mr. President for his willingness to strengthen Ukraine's air defense and to expand our armored cooperation. This armored element is becoming increasingly important for the situation at the front. So is the artillery element. I thank France and Emmanuel personally for the much-needed decisions to strengthen Ukraine's artillery. I am also grateful for the respective leadership within our anti-war coalition. Russia is preparing for a new wave of aggression with the forces it can mobilize. The invaders are already increasing pressure in the Bakhmut, Volodar and other directions. And they want to increase pressure on a larger scale. In order not to recognize the mistake of aggression, the masters of Russia want to throw more of their people and equipment into the fighting. This means that all of us in the free world must step up our cooperation to not only respond to Russia's regular crimes. Although this will happen, of course, there will be a response. But to prevent new Russian criminal acts as much as possible, our forces must retain the initiative in the war. And I heard today a full understanding of the situation both in a conversation with Mr. President Macron and in a conversation with Mr. President of Finland, who was on a visit to Kiev today. There is a new package of support from Finland, including defense support. There is a willingness to strengthen sanctions against Russia and to join our diplomatic initiatives. We have a vision of how we can use this year to our country's advantage to cooperate within European and Euro-Atlantic institutions. That is, today, thanks to the French and Finnish stages of our diplomatic marathon, we have significantly strengthened Ukraine's defense. The main thing now is the speed of implementation of everything we agreed upon. Today I discussed in great detail the points of our peace formula, what can be done together with France, what can be done together with Finland. It is very important for European leadership in these diplomatic efforts to be tangible. And today, in particular in my conversation with Emmanuel, I was pleased to hear his leadership initiatives. I am also grateful to Finland for the vision of the role of this country in guaranteeing our common security under the peace formula. I signed several decrees on awarding the defenders of our country. Today is the day of the foreign intelligence of Ukraine. So today I have specially honored intelligence officers with awards. Of course, I can't publicly say the names and specific reasons for the awards, but this is for the work that allows our state to see and understand more. And I want to congratulate all our intelligence officers, those who expand Ukraine's capabilities and significantly reduce the enemy's capabilities. Thank you for your service. I also signed decrees on awarding the warriors of our army, in particular the 93rd Separate Mechanized Brigade, for their personal bravery and heroism as well as warriors of the National Guard, in particular the 3rd and 4th Operational Brigades of the National Guard. I am thankful for the strength and resilience to each of our warriors and to each family of such warriors. Today, I also awarded the Air Forces for their much-needed results, and Territorial Defense Warriors, for heroism and exemplary performance of combat missions. Such decrees are always a special honor for me as well as the decree that has been signed today. The capital of Lithuania, Vilnius, starts celebrating the 700th anniversary of its foundation. All this time, the histories of our nations have been closely intertwined. And we actually share a common destiny of our freedom. The more protected one nation is, the more protected the other one is. Perhaps now this has been understood more clearly than ever before in our history. Ukraine will always be grateful to Lithuania, to Mr. President Nauseda, to all Lithuanian leaders, to all Lithuanian families who perceived the Russian aggression against Ukraine as an attack on their freedom, who help us to protect our common future in a free and peaceful Europe.
Today, I signed a decree awarding Vilnius the honorary distinction of a savior city for everything that the city and Lithuania as a whole have done to help us in the fight against Russian terror. I thank each and everyone who fights and works to protect freedom. I thank everyone who helps. By the way, there is a lot of talk about tanks now, about the modern tanks we need, and about how to fill this deficit. A lot of effort, words, and promises. But it is important to see the reality, it is not about 5, or 10, or 15 tanks. The need is greater. Every day we are doing everything necessary to fill the deficit. And I am grateful to everyone who supports us in this. However, discussions need to end with decisions. Decisions to really strengthen our defense against terrorists. Our allies have the necessary number of tanks. When the necessary weight of decisions is reached, we will be happy to express gratitude for every weighty decision. We are still working on this. And one more thing. Today, society has seen yet another set of personnel decisions that have been made. I emphasize the phrase, yet another. We will continue to take appropriate steps, the public will see each of them and, I am sure, will support them. Any internal issues that hinder the state are being removed and will continue to be removed. It is fair, it is necessary for our defense, and it helps our rapprochement with European institutions. We need a strong state, and Ukraine will be just that. And today, by my decree, I also put into effect another decision of the National Security and Defense Council. Details will follow later. Glory to Ukraine!